All right, so this is the last video of the day. Uh, technically, it's tomorrow, but, you know, uh, who's counting? I need to go to bed in a minute. So somebody asked me, how do you apply a fan curve? And the simple answer is you click profiles and you basically select my profile. You edit it. You go here, you select graph and you use the temperature source here. And this is it. And then you just apply whatever you need to do. So the minimum temperature I've ever gotten my GPU was 30. Well, it was 30, but we're going to go with 35 as an example. It's not letting us though, which is annoying. Okay. Selected prefix point. Uh, let's just try it this way. So 35 and when I'm at 35, I want at least 40% GPU fan. I know this is weird. Uh, and then we go here. I don't really need this one. We can delete it, but it's not letting us. This one's locked, unfortunately. Are we able to edit the function? No, we're not. Damn. So let's go back in here and go back to the graph. And I'm not really too used to this at the moment. So maybe if we see, why is this like this? Can we do this? Can we do that? No, it's not letting us see. It's really strange this fixed point needs to like stop can we now put it over here yeah it's a uh, it, it's literally not letting us it wants us at 20 c at all times with 20 percent and that is not something i want but we can automatically adjust this to work for us so that's 40 c 32, 35, and I want this up here at 40%, and over here, next, I want 45%. Uh, for those who don't know, this is a fan curve I used to do all the time. Basically, it would slowly ramp everything up at the best of its ability, so we just did, what, 45 40, 40 to 45%. Okay. So this needs to be, well, that's 45. And this would need to be up to at least, what, 50? Right about there. And then we'd put this. Oh, this is so hard to deal with. Just going to type 45. And let's do 50 because what this one was 45 and that one's 50 at 45, which makes no sense, but it does. Making a fan curve in this is very hard because we're starting off a little high. But in a nutshell, hopefully you understand. It's supposed to be right there. So that's 40. This is 45. Yeah, so do 50. Aha. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, fan curve away. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to use it because it has a fixed function of 20%, and it's a bit annoying. But this works. Like, can I just go back and edit the profile? It does let us. And then the next one would be 50, 55. So it would be right here. 55, 50. 45. Yeah. And then the next one would be right here. Pretty much 60, 65. And the next one would be right here. Uh, almost right there. We'd have to type 65 and 60 like that and again seriously this one I will need to change because I need this to just be 55 okay Let's see did they correct it no it didn't so I would have to press 55 and apply function and then once again hit edit profile see it's not it's not the the best thing in the world but it tends to work right 
and that's what matters. Like we press here. I want 75, 70, and then we want 85. And then this one should be God damn it, where are you? Come on. There we go. Oh, nailed it. And then here should be 90. 85. And again, I don't think we can change the 100, but if we hit apply, there we go. We have a fan curve and we hit apply again. And it should start ramping down according to its temperature. And lo and behold, it just goes zero RPM and then back up and the zero RPM and go back up because it's below the set temperature that we set it as because of course it is. So if we go to edit profile again, you'll notice that our default is 40% for 35. Honestly, I'm going to change that to 35. Great. We're going to hit apply. I'm going to edit the profile again. We're going to add a new one down here and I'm going to change. So what was this one? 35, 40. So I want there. And apply to that and it's still doing that because it's below but it shouldn't but it is because yeah it's just what it does so we're below 36 we're at we're around 35 right i don't you know what let's just uh let's add another one right there and there, and there. We're gonna get ultra scientific with this. Can we add another one there? No. All right, this is all it's letting us do. Now it's trying to behave itself, but it's not really working out the way that I want it to. Again, the software is not perfect. The temperature is going up. That's why I like doing this. I like just setting it around 75 and calling it a day because it's quiet and it's efficient. But if you want a fan curve, that's how you get it done. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video, and I will see you guys next time.